Heads up, if you look like this, don't file a super injunction when you have an extra moment to look there. Shout about it! It gives hope to ugly people everywhere that they too will someday get laid. So, um, the Royal Wedding's been all over the news um, for the past week or so, with the Independent having some uh, minimalistic artwork. So, David, what do you think to this? I mean, it looks like a five-year-old slapped some lines on a page, possibly. Not a fan of the minimalistic. No, it's very <laughs> um, minimal. Yeah. So, we've also got Five Eye doing a wedding special. Um, quite a good uh, issue. Check it out. So, um, also, what do you think to um, the wedding in general? She was fit. <laughs> she was fit. Um, this morning we awoke to news that Osama bin Laden has in fact now been killed by American forces. So, it's ten years since the September 11th attacks. So, about time really. What do you, what do you think? Um, it's about time that the American forces actually did something worthwhile and... <laughs> <laughs> so you don't think the war in Afghanistan up to this point has like been worthwhile? No, I didn't get the war. You don't get it? No. Bin Laden had a 25 million dollar price tag on his head. I mean, what kind of ridiculous designer turban must he been wearing? Ralph Lauren. <laughs> okay. Ralph Lauren. What? Because we've kind of gotten about Libya, haven't we? Yes, uh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we are. We've forgotten about everything else. We're in the midst of everything else. Do you know any jokes about Libya? <laughs> well, during the speech the other day, um, I wish someone had... Which thrown... speech the other day, David? <laughs> Not sure I don't have the uh, Colonel Gaddafi archives. During the speech by Libya's defiant leader, I would have loved someone to have thrown a shoe at him because I would have loved to have seen Gaddafi duck. Trouble in paradise as well with the um, coalition disagreeing on the AV referendum. So um, what are your views on the AV referendum? Which way do you think it should go? Um, probably just keep it as normal because it's what everyone's used to now. There's no point changing. Don't fix what doesn't need... Uh, you see, I've, I've never got that point of view, don't fix what's what's working, because that's anti-revolutionary. That's gonna, like, we, we were okay with candles, but we invented electricity. Would you rather us have candles to see why? I get what you mean. However... You think it could not, cause some problems? Yeah, not everything needs changing. Like, obviously, candles, if light's better. But they could put a trial place in, like, the local elections. Yeah. So you're saying that maybe we should do it locally? Try the local, and then if that if people are happy with it, so on the ballot paper, did you like the system today? Please sign yes or no at the bottom. Something like that. I'm tempted to persuade people to vote yes on AV, simply because the Conservative Party is being so patronising about it. They're saying that it's too complicated of a system for people to understand, and that's why you shouldn't vote for it. And that pisses me off. That really pisses me off. Because it's such a simple system, we try and make it so confusing. What do you think? Mm. Have you seen any of the Conservative propaganda on this? No. As well as, um, for the cost of it, they're showing you pictures of children dying and saying... <laughs> <laughs> literally showing you pictures of children dying and saying the money spent on this could be spent saving lives. <laughs> How propagandaish is that? <laughs> propagandaish, that's probably it's not probably good It's probably because they won't get back in power if it comes in. And yeah, Conservative won't. I mean, that's the thing. It'll swing more people to Labour. The way I see it is AV would make it more contrasted. For people who don't get many votes like BNP are going to just fall off the bottom end, whereas people who get more votes are just going to go mm -hmm. higher and higher. So what's, been, um, what's been your highlight of the week in the news? Probably Bin Laden's death. Um. <laughs> and me, girlfriend, girlfriend, go on, do that again. So for me, George Mayer. And me, David Varley. All the best till next week. We're seriously doing this again next week, that'd be awesome. We might do it next week, we're not sure yet.